sell different product types on your Shopify store and you want to have a different product page layout from one type to another or maybe you want to show different information from one product to another in this case you must use Shopify custom product pages to create custom product pages we can do two things either we use Shopify product page templates or we use meta fields or we use both of them in this video i'm going to cover this topic in details and because it's a very technical subject let's move directly to my screen and let's start creating those custom pages for you if you have never played around with your product page templates by default shopify is going to give the default product page template as a layout to all of your products so going in here to shopify if i pick any product i can see that under a page template i have the default product this comes by default before touching anything if you want to check out this template and modify it you need to go to your online store and from there you click on customize and from here when you click on the drop down you will see that under the products you only have one page which is the default product what does this mean it means that now all of your products pages have the same exact layout it doesn't mean that they have the same exact information because there are also meta fields that play a role in here but they all have the same layout so let's say for example you have created a page where you have first a product information then later on the related products then later on an image with text all of your products will have the same layout so when i scroll in here i can see the default page so first i have the broad product information box which I can see reflecting in here under the sections and the blocks. Then I have under it the related product section. And then under it, I have this image with text section. All of the products on my store now have the same exact layout, the same exact sections, because I have created one template and I have assigned it to all of my products. Let's say now I want the leggings and bras on my yoga store to have a different page layout than my yoga accessories. So here is what I'm going to do. I will go first to products. I will click create a template and I will call it, for example, leggings. Leggings and bras, let's say. And I will create it based on the default product page because I don't have any other option. And I will click on create template. So now I have created a new template that I'm going to assign to only my leggings and bras. Stay with me because I'm going to show you how to do this. So let's say for these items, I would need to have first a product information section. So let me remove this section. And these two sections are here by default and I can't remove them, but you can definitely hide the related product section if you wish, although I don't recommend you to do so. So this is the page template. So this template is going to be used for leggings and bras. So what type of sections would I need in here? I would need a section maybe for the size chart. Maybe I would need a section where I show like different people wearing the leggings, like a gallery or a lookbook or something like this. So I will click first on add a section and I will add a section that's dedicated for the size chart. And for the sake of example, I'm going with a one called, for example, image with text. In here, I will put my size chart and in here I will give them instructions about how to uh, take measurements, for example, and so on. If all of your leggings and bras have the same size chart, you can have this section in here as a static section, which means you can enter the information directly within the product page template. So let's say you have created a size chart where you show the bra and the legging and all the dimensions, a small, medium, large, X large, and so on. So you can include all the information in here, considering that all of the clothes on your store have the same size chart. But let's say, for example, you have a different size chart for your bras than your legging, or maybe even between your leggings, each legging have a different size chart. In this case, you need to make this section dynamic and you make it dynamic using meta fields. I will show you how to do that in a few minutes. So stay with me. For now, I'm just going to create the layout to show you how to use the templates. Then we will move into the meta fields. So again, for my leggings and the bras, I want to have the size chart section. Now under this section, I, I'm thinking about adding a like a gallery section or something like this. I need to see if this team actually provide this type of sections. So let me click on add section and let's see what do we have. We have collage in here, which is for products. Uh, I will try it out actually. What else do we have? That's it. We don't have a lot of options because this is a free theme 
uh, from Shopify. So I will click on collage and I have in here products and collections. I will remove them actually. I want only to have images under this section. So I will add a block, I will add an image, I will add another image. So by default for this section, I only have the option to add three images, which is fine. Now for this section, for example, I can't have it static because if I want to show like different people wearing the legging or the bras, I need this section to be dynamic. I need it to be different from one legging to another because for the legging A, I want to show people wearing it. For the legging B, I want to show different people wearing it. So this section in this case must be dynamic and we must use meta feeds. So I have now finished with my page layout. I will click on save. And when you click in here, you will see that this layout is not assigned to any product. It means that this layout is not showing on my store yet. What I need to do is to go back to Shopify in here, to my products, and I need to assign this template to my leggings. So I will go in here and I will assign the template from here. So now my page has this layout. If I click on preview, you will see that if I scroll down, I have these two new sections that I have created. But if I go now to a default product and I preview it, I can see that I only have these two sections. Okay, and this is logical because I didn't assign my new template to this product yet. Okay, so this is how you create different layouts depending on your products. We've created a layout for the leggings and the bras, and now we are going to create a layout for our accessories. So I will go back one more time to my online store. I will click on customize. And from here, I'm going to products. I will click on create template and I will name it this time accessories. And I will base it on the legging and bras template. So now by default, I will have the same template copied because I have based this template based on my other template, the first one I have created. Now let's say I don't want to have the gallery, uh, the collage, I'm going to have a rich text section in here. Okay. So as you can see, now I have this section and I will click on save. Now, after you finish creating your templates, the question is, how are you going to apply all of your new templates to your existing products? Especially if you have a very large number of products. In this case, going to your products one by one to apply the template is going to be a very hard task to do. But you don't need to worry because you can do this using the bulk editor. And let me show you how to do this in a few seconds. So what you need to do is to go to your products and you need to select all of your leggings and bras. If you already use tags on your Shopify store and you have tagged your products properly, this part in here is going to be easier for you because you can simply filter items by what they are tagged with. So let's say, for example, you have used the tags leggings and bras for all of your leggings and bras. You can use these tags in here to filter your products. I didn't use tags on this trial store, so I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to select my uh, products one by one. So I'm selecting everything that's close. When I finish, I will click on bulk edit. And from here, I will click on columns. I will search for the template. And as you can see, this is the first template that I have applied. I'm going to drag it like this. So I will click on save. And now all my leggings and bras have the right layout. Now, if I go back, I want to do the same for my accessories. So I'm going to select them, click on bulk edit. And from here, I will choose the right template and I will drag it down. This is going to be very beneficial if you have so many products and you want to update them. And I will click on save. And now I have different templates for my products. So let's go back in here. If we preview this product one more time, we can see that we have all of these sections. If I go now back and I preview an accessory product, it will have a totally different layout. Okay, so this is to how you create product page templates and you use them. Now let's see how you can make the content within these templates dynamic. So going back again to our Shopify store, you go to online store and you click on customize. We are going to work on the leggings and the bra page, but later on 
you can apply the same logic to any page template you have. So from here, let's go to products, leggings and bras. So let's say in here, in this first section, we want to have the size chart and we want to have the like measurement instructions in here. Well, as I told you before, if all of your products have the same size chart, you can include it directly in here. And in order to do that, you just need to click on the section in here. You choose the size chart in here and you modify like if you wish the colors, everything else, then you go back in here you put in here the title and you put in here the description for the requirements or how to take the measurements. In this case, all of your leggings and bras will share the same size chart. And this could be applicable to your business. And in this case, you go with this option. Now, if you have different size charts per product, you need to use meta fields. Well, meta fields will allow you to create new fields within your product listing. So if we go back in here to my Shopify store to products, you will see that when I scroll down in here, I have a section called meta fields. And this is a section that I have created myself and I have filled for this product. I'm going to show you now how you can create those meta fields and embed them within your product page template. So going back into settings, and into custom data. And you can see that under products, I have eight different meta fields. These, the ones you have under this line, are meta fields that you can't delete because they are already created by Shopify. So I'm going to delete these meta fields and recreate them in front of you. So let's delete this one. And this one. Now, when I go back in here and I scroll down, you can see that I don't have these meta fields anymore. So let's recreate them. You go to settings, you click on custom data and you go to products and you click on add definition. So let's say the first one is going to be, let's say the size chart table. You click on select type and you can choose the type to be an image, which is the most logical thing to do. So you scroll down until, until you find file and in here you choose images. Now let's say we want to create the instructions. So you click in here on, let's say, size chart instructions. And in here you select the type to be a rich text because it's a paragraph and you click on save. And now when I go back to my product, you will see that I have two new meta fields. One is called size chart instructions and one is called size chart table. So in here I can select an image, I will select any random image, let's say this one. And in here, I need to fill some text. So let's say this is how you take. Months. One, two, three. And you make them bullet points, for example. You can bold something in here and so on. And you click on save. These fields will be available to all of your products and you can fill them one by one. So if I go back now to my products and I choose a different product from here and I scroll down, I can see these two fields in here and I need to fill them for this product. So it means that if I have a different size chart for this product, I can fill it in here. You go back to online store and you go back to your product page template again. You click on customize, you go to products, which is the leggings and the bras. And when you go to this layout, you move to our section in here. But this time, instead of filling the information in here, we are going to remove the image and we are going to select a dynamic source. And the dynamic source we are going to select is the size chart table. It's an image and this field in here is for an image. That's why we can see this meta field. And I will scroll in here to the description and I will choose in here the description that I have added, which is the meta field I have created. I will click on save. We didn't fill those information for this product. That's why we are not seeing them in here. But if we go back and change a preview to choose the products where we have filled the meta fields, you will see when you scroll down that we have the text that we have created and the image that we have created. And this is how you can have different size charts for your different products. This same logic can be applied to your gallery section. So in this case, for example, you need three different image meta fields.
So what you need to do is to actually go back, create three meta fields. So you go to settings, you go to custom data, and in here you start creating, let's call it collage one. The type is an image. So let's search for file and choose image. We will recreate the remaining two as well. So now I have the three meta fields. I will go to my product and I will fill the images. So going back in here to this product, I will scroll down and I will select the first image. Let's say it's going to be this one. Let's in here select another image. And I will select another image in here. I will click on save. Now I can go to a different product in here. Let's go to this one, for example. And when I scroll down, I will choose different images. So I will click in here, select image. I will choose something different. So let's say this one. Let's say this one. And this one. And click on save. We must go back to the online store to change this section and make it dynamic. You go to customize, you go to products, to the leggings and bras template. And from here, you scroll to this section because this is the section that we want to make it dynamic. So you click on the first image and you select a dynamic source, which is collage one. Then for the second image, you choose a dynamic source, which is collage two. And for the third one, you choose the third source, which is collage three, and we click on save. So as you can see for this product, we are seeing the related images. If I now change this product to another product from my store, let's say this one, and I scroll down, I will see different images. So as you can see, it's super simple to create dynamic sections using MetaField. Thank you so much for watching this video and for staying up until the end. I truly appreciate that. Before leaving, I want to remind you to smash the like button, to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because in this way you will get notified each time I publish a new video. Thank you again for watching and see you soon. Bye bye.